Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. Today we are going to try grinding a high speed steel lathe tool blank as you can see right here. I've done this once before with uh, to make a threading tool for a 60 degree tip and found it to be uh, you know, not, not too hard, not too tricky and uh, uh, a lot of the folks on the forums talk about it, how it's a very good skill to acquire um, it helps teach you more about your how your lathe, tool, lathe tools work and the rake and the relief and the angles uh, but it's also uh, just a much cheaper way to uh, make, make tools and keep tools sharp so uh, today what I want to try to do is make a tool which is going to allow me to take this ring actually let me zoom in on that I want to take this ring which is going to actually be my wedding band and I want to uh, put a radius on the outside diameter so that instead of it being flat it is semi uh, spherical or semi curved. Um, I probably won't actually do it on this one since I've already cut this one out. I'll do it on a new one. I've just been experimenting for size and shape here. But uh, So what I want to do is take my blank here and cut a concave uh, relief in it. So to do so I've got my six inch tool grinder with my aluminum oxide grinding wheel. I've got a blank. I've got a, a dish of water here to cool the tool bit off. I think the general rule of thumb is if you can't touch the tool bit with your bare hands, it, it, it's too hot and you need to let it cool off. I've got my dressing stick and uh, of all the, uh, it's important to wear safety goggles at all times in the shop, but especially when you're uh, working with anything like a tool grinder, you absolutely need to keep uh, safety goggles on. So let's fire up the grinder and see how it goes. Actually, before we start, I did want to say most of the time when I post these videos, I've usually either tried the project before or thought it through or done some experimenting. This, I'm kind of uh, flying by the seat of my pants, but I figure sometimes we can learn as much from what doesn't work as what does work. So no promises here. Let's just see how it goes. I'm just trying to clean up the, uh, the face of it a little here. Alright, I'm going to give the wheel a quick dressing here. It's really messy when you do that, but uh, I think it's important to do it and do it frequently. It helps keep the, uh, the wheel from uh, cutting and not rubbing. Alright, let's see if I can put, start putting uh, the radius on this. Actually, it looks like that's going even easier than I thought it might. Okay, so this is the top of the bit here. So I've got, I'm starting to work in my relief, but uh, one of the things I needed to do was also to make sure that the uh, there was a bit of a clearance underneath the tool bit so that when it's cutting here at the top that the area below the cutting uh, level is not rubbing so I put a, an angle on it there and then I'm going to keep working on my tip here a little. So if I compare the shape I've got to the ring, I actually think, oh, let me zoom in. If I compare the shape of the relief with the, the width of the uh, ring, I think that actually might be okay. It'll, it might take some experimenting. I might have to turn, uh, put it in the lathe and uh, give it a shot. So I think what I just want to do now is to try and clean up that lip you can see right there so that it's more of a smooth face on the cutting face. So 
there we go. So I'm just smoothing out the front face of that. Let me give it a, a few more minutes here and uh, I'll take a look at where we are. All right, folks, I think I'm done. Here's the radius profile and there's the front face of the, uh, see if you can try and see that, the front face of the tool. It's pretty smooth at the top. There's a little bit at the bottom that's a ripple, but that shouldn't affect it. And I've got a fair amount of relief there. So I'm going to chuck this up on the lathe and see how all right, I chucked up my freshly ground tool in my A to Z CNC quick, ch uh, quick change tool post, and it's on center line. So I've got a piece of rough stock in here, which I'm going to go ahead and apply a little coolant to and see, uh, see how the tool works. Alright, I cleaned off the just right side edge a little bit there and I have to say I am very happy with this. Um, I think I might actually flatten out the radius a little bit, but nevertheless the uh, cutting seemed great. I, there was a little bit of chatter there, which I'll have to think about, um, but nevertheless for the first shot, uh, sounded great, cut, the cut felt good, and certainly the look is exactly what I'm looking for.